Calaroga Shark Media. Hey there, I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. Now you're probably saying to yourself, hey, Johnny Mac, got a random question for you. How long does it take a large desert tortoise to cross a southern Arizona highway? That's a great question. Well, we've looked into this. A motorist contacted authorities to report a tortoise trying to cross the road halfway between Casa Grande and Tucson. Sergeant Steve showed up to grab the tortoise, and then he saw that the tortoise's shell had the word stitch labeled on it. He contacted an ostrich ranch that was three miles away. The ranch confirmed that Stitch was one of their tortoises. So we don't know how long it takes to cross the road, but we do know a tortoise can go three miles. Now, I'm not an expert here, but I'm going to guess that uh, Stitch the tortoise had been out for more than five minutes. Meanwhile, inside one of the most extensively researched historic sites, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, researchers have discovered the largest known medieval altar the altar from the year 1149 made an impression on visitors for many centuries, and then it disappeared from public view following a major fire in part of the church in 1808. People thought that the Crusaders' altar was lost. How did this happen? Well, in a rear corridor of the church, a stone slab weighing several tons had been leaning against the wall for who knows how long, graffitied on the stone slab. They turned it around for construction work, and it revealed its true artistic heritage. It was decorated with beautiful ribbon ornaments, which enabled its identification as the once magnificent front panel of the medieval Crusader altar. One of the researchers said the fact that something so important could stand unrecognized in, in this of all places was completely unexpected. This is interesting. A water-powered electric bandage can heal serious wounds 30% quicker than conventional treatments, according to a new study. Now, I'm hung up on the words electric and water. Huh? But okay. The inexpensive bandages use an electric field to promote healing and chronic wounds. One of the co-authors of the study said our goal was to develop a far less expensive technology that accelerates healing in patients with chronic wounds. We also want to make sure that the technology is easy enough for people to use at home rather than something that patients can only receive in clinical settings. The dressing is applied so that the electrodes come into contact with the wound. A drop of water is then applied to the battery, activating an electric field for several hours. According to the researcher, it's well established that electric fields accelerate healing and chronic wounds. Again, don't take any medical advice from this show. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Johnny Mac, are we doing a Guinness record today? Oh, yes, we are. The Mexican state of Tlaxcala has set a record by serving up more than 30,000 basket tacos in 186 different flavors. That's right. They gathered more than 150 taco chefs to assemble and serve the tacos during a Sunday event in Mexico City. The tacos included varieties such as potato, pork rinds, and beans, as well as creative combinations including potato with sausage and cactus. Tlaxcala has a previous Guinness record, this one for the longest sawdust carpet, which was 12,924 feet and 11 inches long. Hey, don't forget, we've got that new show, Five Minutes of Gratitude. What is it? It's five minutes long, and it's mindfulness about gratitude. Here, let me pull up the episodes on the back end. Examples include the joy of laughter, the gift of home, the power of kindness, the wonder of our bodies, the joy of food, the gift of time. You get the idea. Five minutes of gratitude, the number five minutes of gratitude, wherever you get your shows. Now pay attention to this headline. You're going to think I misspoke at least twice. A kangaroo has escaped from prison. Police in the Czech Republic were on the lookout for a kangaroo that has escaped near Prague. That's right. None of that makes sense. The prison is home to animals including kangaroos, rabbits, llamas, and roosters. They're part of a prison program that allows prisoners nearing the ends of their terms to learn skills including farming and animal husbandry and kangaroo care. But somebody let the kangaroo out. We'll let you know if the kangaroo is caught. And those are your five good news stories for today. Uh, I just love the headline, Kangaroo Escapes from Prison in Czech Republic. Didn't expect any of that. If you enjoy the show, tell a friend about it. They might like it too. See you around.